Well, the Reason Snow is a much welcomed site, especially for the ski areas, and there's no better time for it than right now is an annual event that's happening this weekend at one great resort. This weekend, you and your kids can check out the shovel races and more at Angel Fire's World Shovel Racing Championships. Here with a preview is Christy Ronchetti. Christy, thank you for joining us. Sure, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, tell us exactly what shovel racing is. If you're just you're new to it, like me, right? It could be a little scary. Yeah, it does look more intimidating than I think it actually is. Okay. But the gist is, is back in the '70s, the lift operators at the end of their shift, just to kind of have a fun way to get down the mountain, they would mm -hmm. grab a snow shovel and point the handle down and see who could go down the mountain the fastest. Wow. So after that, it kind of became, you know, hey, I can do it faster than you, and mm -hmm. all that kind of started spearheading. And mm -hmm. now it became a competition. We're in the 33rd year of doing it as an actual world championship. Wow, yeah. the world championship is happening right. up at Angel Fire. Well, so, you know, it, it can be scary, and, uh, you know, and anything on the snow, I guess, can be dangerous to a certain extent. True. Would you say this is more dangerous than skiing, snowboarding, any other uh, of those activities? You know, that's a good question. You know, the thing is, is uh, shovel racing is a little bit faster, mm -hmm. so you obviously have the speed to contend with. Uh, the guys up there are really good at training you to do it. So even if you've never that. done shovel Ooh. racing, yeah, I mean, that's a fast one right there. So it, the, the guys up there can, can teach you, you know, the basics. You, you obviously just point your shovel downward. You lay back as, as flat as you can if you want the most speed, but you mm. can stop. So, you know, if you need to stop pretty quick, you just kind of sit up, put your hands in the snow, uh -huh. you, you know, and you can stop pretty fast. So. Now, do people rig these shovels now? Is this something that they they outfit their shovels you know, with? You know, we used to allow that. It was called modified. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it, it became quite a historic thing. But mm -hmm. we have gone back to more of the traditional shovel racing. So okay. all you're allowed to do now is put wax on your shovel. That's okay. it. That's it. That's it. You can decorate it and you can put some wax on it. But other than that, that's that's it. And that's then you it. wear your speed that's suit if you want to get all your, uh -huh. you know, your aerodynamics in. And right. Like that. Yeah, that's absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Well, so people are going to see the best of the best. This is the world championship. That's right. That's right. We have people that come year after year to do the, the competition. They get faster and faster. And this is actually our second year for women in media. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of the ladies from your station coming up. Uh, we have Kristen Van Dyke's coming out. We've got mm -hmm. Katie Kim, Kim Holland, a lot of folks that are coming back again to kind of compete for that best of in the media mm -hmm. title. Because I yeah. did ask the men. I want you to know, I did <laughs> ask a lot of the guys. Right yeah, here. yeah I, I did. I threw it out to the men. They they said they were too scared, so I went <laughs> to the women, and the women said, "You bet, I'll be they there." Ate it up. So yeah. As you were saying, we've got one one of our editors here also. Oh, working Pamela. Promotion. She is super excited oh, about it. Well, and she she's is, counting down the days. She came in second last year, and she's hoping for for the first place, of course. So, that yeah. close that she's hungry for it. <laughs> that's now. right. That's, that's great. right. Well, so parents also with kids, if they yep. want to start doing this, they can come out and maybe get them introduced. Sure. Hopefully there's... not going 60 miles no, an hour. No, no, but... no, no, no. I mean, I think it'd be tough for those little guys to go that fast anyway. Yeah. They don't have enough weight on them, quite honestly. But it's a smaller course, and mm. anybody from ages six and up can do okay. it. It's called Little Scoops, okay. and we're still open for registration for both adults and for the kids. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, in addition to all the Shovel racing, a winter carnival's happening. That's right. Tell us a little bit about well, that. Well, you know, this is kind of the first year for winter carnival, and we've, you know, to be honest, we've been kind of a little leery because of the snow, but mm -hmm. we're actually getting quite a bit of snow now, so mm -hmm. that's a good thing. We'll have some snow sculptures up there, live music. We're doing a Warren Miller ski movie preview, so oh, wow. you know, folks can come in and see the movie, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just kind of more of a fun environment up mm -hmm. there. And you know, it's it's it is what New Mexico, you know, we're not known for skiing per se, mm -hmm. and we want to kind of start changing that and mm -hmm. making it more of a fun environment. Environment, getting more people up on the mountain, even if you're not a skier, right. there's plenty for you to do. And even if you don't want to compete in shovel racing, <laughs> exactly. you can come and watch it. And it's a yeah. great thing to actually watch. Yeah, and Angel Fire is such a great place to do it. I mean, it's such a beautiful part. Northern New Mexico is so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Part of the Enchanted Circle. And Angel Fire, just a beautiful part of Northern New Mexico. So, uh, tickets available? Are the seats first come, first serve? How yeah, I mean, work? it's kind of like a, it's a super fun, like, stanchion area where people can kind of watch at the base. Mm -hmm. uh, we have music that pumps out, um, Coyote F. FM comes out and they play oh, cool. music and they okay. host for us and uh, you know it's a it's a lot of fun for a spectator mm -hmm. and cheer people on and you know it's just kind of a racing event that's different it's very unique and yeah, we actually absolutely. have it here in New Mexico mm -hmm. so like I said it was on the X Games I mean it's interesting it's yeah. something you don't see every day it really is that's yeah. I think that's one of the cool things about it you know because I'm I, I got to tell you I don't think I'm hopping on a shovel anytime well, soon come on. but I would you can do I, it. I will I will go up there and I'll cheer on Matt Morrow yeah well, get him on Matt's the shovel. all talk right now he says he's <laughs> right. coming so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right. Yeah. Exactly. He's yelling at us off stage. That's but yeah, right. So, yeah. That's right. So you can go up. You can see a lot of your the favorite ladies uh, from KRQE from Tucasa. Here oh, comes oh Matt no. Morrow. Here comes Matt. Here comes Matt, Matt, comes Matt just Morrow. Walk on. Right okay. here. So are you challenging? Are you going to show up, Matt? He's miking up everybody. He's miking himself up. All right. So we're going to see.
All right, Morrow, you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. If you, you can are? get the oh. mic, if you can figure out the mic, you can figure out a shovel. That's right. I am a world champion shovel racer. Okay. Right. You may not know this. Oh, there no, you go. I did not you know. are seeing it right here. And you don't know shovel racing as I much as you think you do. I don't know where you've been doing it, but are you my saying? My backyard. Are you okay? Good. Okay, yeah. good. So now that you have to ride Most people this say one. I keep digging myself further and further yeah. into a hole. That's Is that true. The same thing. No, it's completely different. Uh, yeah, he so thinks he's talking you know. about like shoveling. Yeah. He's oh, gonna yeah. shovel the sidewalk. Yeah. That's what well, he. Well, what I want to see is what kind of costume you're gonna wear, because we do have prizes for the best costume. Ooh. So okay. maybe you don't win on the shovel, but you could win in the costume. I can. What about both? Can I win both? You can. We'll actually, find out. So we'll find out. All right. You've seen it right here on style, folks. Matt's, Matt's up to the challenge. Christy, thank you for You're coming welcome. in. Thank you.